There are obviously a lot more things out there, and a lot more beings out there, than, at least in Western society, we're commonly ready to acknowledge or admit to. Real estate agent Paul Carr is not referring to homeowners or land deals. No, he's talking about a slightly higher realm, namely heaven, and an encounter he says he had with an entity he calls the greeter. Paul Carr is one of an estimated 12 million Americans who say they've had a near-death experience, time spent out of their earthly bodies. A small percentage say the experience was hellish, 95% claim the opposite. Paul Carr was 11 when he slipped and tumbled down this black diamond canyon near his boyhood home. And so there I was sailing down through the air, holding on to this tree, and this very distinct voice said, kick the tree away. And I just did it. I didn't even think about it. He landed in some bushes without even breaking a bone. 17 years later, at the age of 28, he would hear the voice again. He fell in his kitchen, was paralyzed, and nearly died from digestive failure on an operating table. Of the most commonly identified near-death experiences from the tunnel to the light, Paul Carr had a classic. Suddenly, I found myself in this tunnel. The tunnel was dark, but there were lights there. And I was whizzing along at some pretty terrific rate of speed. And I kind of came out into this light, and it was like a white void. But there was this entity there, and suddenly I began talking to this, this entity, this person, whatever, that I've always referred to as the greeter, because what he was doing was greeting me. And I recognized the voice. The voice gave Paul Carr a choice to stay or return to his life on Earth. And the choice was that if I came back, I would have the opportunity to raise my boys and that I'd have the opportunity to develop a loving relationship with somebody when I'd never had one. And, I, uh, and if I went around the bend, I didn't get to do that. Physically, Paul Carr returned to his body on the operating table and to his life on Earth. As with most people who have had a near-death experience, he came back to both with a new belief system. One, of course, is that there's a there there. I'd always wondered whether that was really true or not true. We all wonder. Yeah, yeah well, I don't have to wonder. It's there. And the other really strong impression I got was that it's there for everybody. That all of these limits we have on it, you know, different religions and different beliefs, and all of that stuff doesn't really matter. The reason for being here is that we have things to learn. And we even, I think, have some control over the directions that we take when we leave here, depending on what we do here. See, this is a school. And part of the rules of the school is we forget it's a school. Because otherwise, we'd start tinkering with the grading system <laughs> and tell the teachers what to teach. Paul Carr, as with many who've had a near-death experience, is not out to convince or convert anyone. His only attempt to preach on a bumper sticker. Enjoy life, it says. This is not a rehearsal. Good advice, he believes, no matter where we've been or where we're going. In Black Diamond, I'm Julie Blacklow, Cairo News, Channel 7.